Good morning, welcome to the vlog. We're doing a few days of my life. This is just a random week in January. I will just say, I used to always be the person that ripped on January and I thought that like by getting ahead of it and just claiming that I couldn't stand it and that it was the worst month and just so hard to get through, that it somehow made it better because then I was setting the expectations low so it could be beat. No month is inherently good or bad. It just is what you make of it. So we're trying to make January and what seemingly could be like the most dreary, dark, cold time of year um, to be a little more exciting. So I guess what I'm getting at is these would typically be um, not the most exciting days in my life. It's not like a summer weekend where we have a million plans and are going out and spending time outside. But it is a random Tuesday in January. I think we're almost to, what day is it? Today's the 10th, whatever. <laughs> Why are we starting this all on such a bad note? I am happy to be here. I am embracing this January and I feel like I feel so much more excited and energized than I usually do in this month. So I don't know, I'm feeling good. But anyway, this morning I have a morning routine, got up, made coffee, was reading, my book. I'm also, I'm reading three books at the same time right now, but I went back and forth because I want to read nonfiction in the morning. So I started reading Sapiens and I've been reading this book for like over a month now. It's a really long book and it's just very dense, I'll say. I've been reading it very slowly and I'll read like half a chapter and then I switch to a different nonfiction book that I'm reading by Joan Didion. I'm reading The Year of Magical Thinking, which I am a little further like towards the beginning of that. So, so I was reading that this morning and I need to start getting dressed and stuff. I need to leave in about 30 minutes actually, so I have some time. I was very kindly invited by Sol de Janeiro to go to a lymphatic drainage massage this morning at Mova Spa in Flatiron. And I'm so excited because I've A, never had a lymphatic drainage massage always interested in lymphatic drainage though. I always, you know, talk about rolling my face and gua sha and all that. So I've dabbled in and also like doing a lymphatic drainage massage um, on my face, but I've dabbled in that, but I've never had any sort of like body lymphatic drainage. Um, so I'm very curious. Also a little bit nervous just because I've never had any sort of massage at all in my life. Um, but it's been a goal of mine for a while. I mean, I know that this isn't like a deep tissue massage, so it's not necessarily gonna cure my very knotted muscles, but this has been something that has been on my radar and I think this will be a good intro. And I'm thinking I might just bring my laptop and go to a coffee shop and work for a while there, um, just because I'll already be in the city. I think I'll come back to eat lunch here and then spend the rest of the afternoon here. And then I'm going back into Manhattan for soul cycle class tonight. So yeah, I'm excited about today, even though it's gray and dreary and peak January time, but we're embracing it. This few days of my life, it's gonna be just Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I think, because this Friday I'm going out of town. I think I can say it because this video is not gonna be up before that, um, but I'm going to surprise my friend who moved away last summer. We're flying into Raleigh. We're gonna spend a day there, and then we're going to drive to Charlotte and spend the night there. Just something fun to look forward to in January. So, um, but what I'm saying is before that, the next few days are gonna be me just kind of like getting stuff done and prepping for that. Cheers, I'm gonna finish my coffee and then get ready. I have no idea what to wear to a massage. I'm pretty sure you just like change into a towel when you get there anyway, so I don't think it really matters. Packing up my stuff now, I'm just wearing like loose, or not loose, but more like stretchy, easy to put on and off leggings and a zip-up hoodie um, and a sports bra and stuff. So I feel like it'll be whatever. There's a variety coffee shop a couple blocks away. So I think I'm gonna walk there after and work there for a couple hours at least. That's all I need, right? Charger, laptop, I'll bring my headphones. They gave me an Uber code, which is nice. So I'm gonna Uber there um, instead of taking the train. I'm wear my Sol de Janeiro spray because, I mean, I always do, but also fitting that I'm going to their thing. Let's go.
Okay, that was so relaxing. Literally, I almost fell asleep. Um, but so, so good. Uh, definitely check out the place, the massage place, MOBA. I got this little gift bag, so I'll show you guys later. And I just love their products so much. Like, I would bathe myself in Sol de Janeiro every day. <laughs> and I basically do. massage and then I went to a variety of coffee afterwards and worked there for like an hour and a half or so um I'm not quite done with the video that I was editing but gonna do that here and it was nice it was a cute little spot it was very busy so I got like the last seat that was available but I wanted to show you guys what I got from the brand after my massage it was so so nice the only thing I would say if you are going is go on an empty stomach because like the massage they do on your stomach for the lymphatic drainage probably would be uncomfy if you were like full but i didn't eat before so it was fine anyway <laughs> i guess it's kind of a weird thing really refreshing i felt very like relaxed i'm gonna drink plenty of water for the rest of the day and always the first thing is so pretty it's this little bouquet how pretty is this i don't even have like a vase or anything but also we're giving out these little shots and acai bowls after. So I took one of these. I'm not sure. I think she said it's like pineapple with ginger. I didn't even try it yet. Ooh, it smells like ginger. It smells refreshing. It's kind of big for a shot. Ooh, it's good. It's like kind of sweet. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. I'll probably drink it after I eat some food. And then this was the product that they're promoting. It's the new Bum Bum Body for Men's Up Oil. It is so nice. I mean, if you know the scent of Bum Bum Cream, it is so good. It's like warm, sweet. Here's the oil, it was so nice and rich feeling. So you can buy it now at Sephora or wherever you find the brand. Um, so I'm just gonna attach the pump and keep it in my bathroom. But it's such a nice little glass bottle. And they also gave me something to do like lymphatic drainage massage at home, which is so nice. I've been wanting to like get into a routine of this more so while I've been learning very minimal techniques for like the face, which she didn't actually massage my face. She just is a tool that you can use with the oil. So that's so exciting. And then I've never actually tried this one. It's the Bum Bum Body Scrub. I know I'm gonna love it because obviously I love the scent and it's such a good winter product to have a body scrub especially if you have dry skin i am stoked to use this it's got some of the flowers on it but i got a little bum bum cream so very excited thank you thank you looking for a good body oil check it out i'm gonna put these away i also got something in the mail that was a present for my mom for christmas my mom got me this cute little bedside lamp um that looks like the moon when you plug it in which is so cute. It's also marketed for children, but like I thought it would be really cute in my room. I feel like grew a despicable me with the shrunken boo. Okay, I'm getting ready to head out the door now. Going to Soul Cycle. It's been a few hours. It's starting to get dark. Um, I scheduled the 5:30 class just because I like to be home and like getting dinner and showering and all that starting earlier. So I'm going to Soul Cycle Tribeca. There was a theme that was Justin Bieber versus Drake, and I'm very intrigued. Well, I'll show you guys the light that my mom sent me. I charged it up. There we go. Oh shoot. Okay, yeah, it has like three different settings there. That's what I wanted anyway. She's cute. It looks like a moon. Off we go back into the cold, which it's really not that cold these days from what New York winter could be. So. I'm not trying to complain. I'm waiting for the shoe to drop that it's gonna start being like 20 degrees because it's been 40s. I'm not tired, but I definitely don't feel energized. I don't feel as though I'm about to work out. <laughs> Terrible angle, <laughs> looking like a tomato after Soul Cycle. But that was probably the most fun I've had in a workout class in a long time. It was actually like decently full, but I like being around other people and you like feed off each other's energy and stuff. I'm gonna drink the rest of the shot that I didn't drink earlier. Julie D, that was her name. But I really forgot like how much of a difference it makes when you know most of the music. So that's why I'd highly recommend if you like wanna try Soul Cycle or any sort of kind of like intimidating workout class, 
try and go to a themed ride that you know the artists or the type of music, the genre, the decade, whatever it is. And it makes such a big difference because it's so much more motivating when you like know the beat and you want to like sing along and it's just fun. And for some odd reason, I've been in a Justin Bieber resurgence phase. Not really, <laughs> but I did buy his sweatshirt for $15 at the mall last weekend. And it was just fun. Like there's a lot of really fast rides and usually I don't do too well with super fast light resistance songs. I prefer, like I would much rather do a climb and do like really high resistance and half the speed than the really fast stuff because I feel like the resistance is what actually is a workout. But we had a couple fast songs and I didn't even mind because I was just like jamming out. I was about to recycle this, but honestly I kind of might keep this little glass jar. It's cute. I could find something to do with it. I'll put it in the washer. Anyway, I'm gonna have leftovers. Last night I cooked crispy sesame chicken from Half Baked Harvest. So I'm gonna heat up some left, first I'm gonna shower, then I'm gonna heat up some leftovers. And then it's only seven o'clock and I'm FaceTiming my friends at nine. So I have some time to chill out. Okay, I'm heading out to go get my nails done. It's a little bit of a lunch break. Yes, I am wearing my IMG Teddy coat from 2018 that I still have. I've had a broken thumb since New Year's and these are really grown out. So it's about time. Let's go. It's like afternoon on Thursday now. Um, I went and got my nails done yesterday and then didn't vlog, but I don't really know where the time has gone. Um, <laughs> earlier today, I self tanned and showered, washed my hair so it's like half wet and looking messy. I should probably go dry it soon because it's like almost dry. Um, and I'm working on an application that I found just this morning, or not even this morning, a couple hours ago for working at a mission to the UN, so like for a country, which I haven't been considering as much. I've been mostly looking at NGO roles that are like similar to what I've been doing the past couple years, but I don't know. I think like I clearly need to either reevaluate or like draw a bigger circle of the kinds of roles that I'm looking at and what I'm applying for because I just need to like try new things, I think, because I feel like I just keep going and going and getting nowhere with what I've been focusing on. So I need to kind of just like, and it's not even that this is like totally different work from what I was applying for, but just kind of in a different place, um, a different avenue, I suppose, which isn't that drastic of a change either. <laughs> it's like not even changing industries at all, but I don't know. I just feel like I've been so tunnel vision and hyper-focused on like certain opportunities and roles and like saying no to a lot of things that could still be good it's just like i feel like i know specifically what i want to do and it's frustrating when you just can't find the right fit for that like when you have too specific of a vision in mind sometimes it limits you i think from what else could be good and still like a really valuable experience elsewhere so that's all to say um i haven't really been looking like th for jobs in this way, but I finally decided to start like expanding that a little bit. Um, and I found this this morning, which seems like a really cool opportunity at a permanent mission here in New York at least. So that's still like no major changes or anything, uh, not moving at all. Been doing a little bit of prep for my trip that I'm leaving on tomorrow. I self tanned, which I haven't tanned in literally months. <laughs> um, because also once it gets cold, I don't really self tan that much in the winter. I feel like a lot of people you're either in one of two camps without having a natural tan from the summer that you feel like you need to self tan all the time. Well, maybe this is projecting. Um, or you're just the opposite where it's like, it's winter, everyone's pale slash, I'm not really showing much of my body anyway because it's cold and I'm always wearing like long sleeves and coats and whatever, um, which I'm definitely more in that camp where I'm like, what's the point of tanning my body if I'm just gonna wear a turtleneck. But I decided to put on some self tanner um, before the weekend. I need to pack still. I just got my newly box, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I got some really cute pieces. And I'm losing daylight because the sun's, well, it's not even like close to sunset time yet, but it's like cloudy and dark today. So um, the light is leaving much sooner than I would like. But I already kind of loosely planned outfits to pack, so I'm not too worried about that. And it should be easy from there, but. Yeah, um, I've just been trying to do this. Honestly, this application isn't due until next Friday, so I have a week and a day 
and I don't know part of me was like why don't I just like hurry and finish it today but there's a few different like kind of essay questions in it that I kind of feel like I should take more time it's not the end of the world if I submit it the week that it's due like it doesn't have to be over a week early I just realized I can't see my reflection now that I use this light, I, I don't know if I actually ended up filming that because I filmed me unboxing this and trying it out, but I don't think I put it in the vlog because I thought it was boring. But um, I did get a new light. Okay, how about you just fall down? Then? It's on top of the camera, but it's partially blocking the viewfinder um, just with the way that my viewfinder is designed. It definitely looks like I'm getting a hard glare from these glasses in the light. So anyway, I'm looking like a slob, feeling like a slob, but at least Mars retrograde is over and things are looking up that's just what we're telling ourselves and that's what we're choosing to believe so like i said i feel like 2023 is just the year that i need to lean into delusion <laughs> like lucky girl syndrome just pretending things are good until they are you know what i mean i'm gonna put a pause on this and then i think i'll dry my hair first and then try on my newly items with you guys i got some really cute stuff this month i also got a package from suja which was so exciting i have no idea what it is i mean i'm guessing it's juice because that's their whole thing i am trying to focus on nutrients and supplements and all of that stuff in the new year so oh my gosh this is so much juice. Oh my god, there's so many shots too. I literally almost bought ginger shots at Trader Joe's the other day, but then I was like, you know what? I don't need it. Yes, I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna take this right now. Guys, there's recovery shots. Maybe I'll bring these for my friends. Well, actually, I'm going to the airport, so I can't get these through security, but juices, immunity. Oh my god, strawberry guava. That sounds so good. Green delight. Yeah, trying to get more green juice. Hey, thank you, Suja. I'm so excited to try these and let you guys know which ones are my favorites. Showing you guys what I got from Newly. This is the first piece. I love it already. I love the sleeves. They get like tight around the hands, and I'm someone who always like wraps sleeves around my hands, especially when it's cold out. So this is from Free People. I got a medium, it's called Easy Street Crop Pullover. So it's kind of a nice high neck without being like a mock neck. And I don't know, the stitching is great. It feels really high quality. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna have to close the window. I think this light blue color in the winter is so pretty and just crisp like very December, even in January, I guess. And it hits like right at my belly button. So a nice like cropped sweater. I'm wearing sweatpants with it, so don't judge, but those are my own. I'm so stoked because I've actually had this coat before in blue. And when I saw they had a white one, I immediately put it on my list. It kept going in and out of stock. So I snagged this quick when it was in stock. And the only size they had was a small. But I do remember being very oversized and all the reviews were saying to size down again Even though I rented this months ago, so I don't even remember what I got. I imagine I got a medium But I got the small this time. Yeah, I think this fits great. It's still long It's definitely an oversized coat and I could probably even fit an extra small but This is the, I think this is a good size for me. It's so pretty. I love a nice long white coat in the winter it goes all the way down to my calves. This is the other long coat I got. This is a medium from RD Style and it's a light gray plaid pattern. It's also pretty long, like down to my calves, but that's perfect for January weather. <laughs> so I feel like this is a great kind of style because with the plaid, it kind of dresses it up more. So it could be more professional or casual, however you wear it. Okay, this one is definitely different. It's a long sleeve top. And the reviews were mixed on it, so it was a little bit of a gamble, but I kind of wanted just like a cute, warm, going out in the winter shirt. Um, so I kind of like the twist detailing, and it also has cutouts here and in between. I do wish it was cropped. It kind of goes all the way down, I tuck it in, but I don't know. I feel like it looks a little odd on my chest region, but I also kind of like the clavicle way that it's cut. I'm not sure, I'm undecided on this one. Also like it's awkwardly high cut. Like I feel like that looks weird up here, like it's meant to be, maybe I just need to pull it down more and it's supposed to be even longer. But I think that's a little more flattering. This is just called the Twist Front Sweater by Astra the Label and I got it in a large because the review said to size up. Okay, this piece is really fun because it's kind of giving shacket but it's also its own coat too. It feels like it could be worn without being too bad, um, like good insulation. This is the Sherpa Oversized Shirt Jacket by If By C. It has pockets and on the front. And I did hear that the sleeves were a little bit weird, plus it's supposed to be really oversized, so I got a small on this one also. Definitely an oversized fit, it goes to my knees. <laughs> like it's really long. Okay, this one, um, 
if we're talking oversized, this one's huge. It literally covers my entire butt. I mean, this is a coat coat. It's fully lined with this kind of furry material all the way in. Like, it's just a, a statement. I've been wanting a coat like this to wear during the winter for a while and I finally found this one. They're always sold out and newly. So when this was in stock, I immediately just grabbed it and the only size available was a large even though the review said it ran pretty big. And it does. I do kind of wish it was cropped, but I love the look of it otherwise. And it's so warm, so good for winter. This is the Vegan Leather Moto Jacket by Avec Le Fee. And I love the brand. I talk about them all the time because I always get something from them in my newly. I feel like it's just such high quality, beautiful coats every time. I was kind of planning to wear it on the plane and bring it to North Carolina, but I feel like it might be too much almost. Like, I don't know if it's cold enough. Well, like this is, just be aware if you do get this coat, it is long. Okay, those are the six things that I got in my newly this month. So excited as always. Um, this is essentially how I try new clothes, is just renting them every month instead of buying a bunch of new clothes. This came just in time. I'm so excited. Okay, tomorrow the high is 55. And then Saturday and Sunday, it's like 40s, mid 40s. But the low is kind of low. I think Charlotte's a little, oh, tornado watch. Always, I'll have my little referral code if you guys want to try out Newly and get, I think, $10 or $20 off your first box. It's such a good deal. Six items a month. I could have sworn I just heard thunder and saw lightning. But I don't know if that's in the weather forecast. Okay, we're going to have a Suja shot. This is the digestion one with ginger and probiotics. Probiotics are always good, but especially when you're about to travel, so. Ooh, that's good. Got a little pineapple spice aftertaste. It also has 700 milligrams of apple cider vinegar, which I need to get in the habit of consuming once again, so. Okay, I'm trying to put together, I mean, I've, I have all my outfits basically figured out, but I just need one, like, daytime outfit where we're gonna be driving from early to Charlotte. So um, I'm gonna wear leggings on the bottom, so that doesn't matter. But I wanna do, I think, it's not gonna be super cold either. Fuzzy vest, I haven't worn this in a while, honestly. Um, it's really cute, but I just don't wear it that much. So this is the first option. Otherwise, I have two different colors of long sleeves that I might wear with a black vest. Okay, there's this chocolate brown long sleeve with the black vest, nothing special. I mean, it doesn't have to be that special. We're not doing anything that exciting this day or anything. Green. <laughs> Actually, I think this is kind of fun. Why do I feel like it's giving Power Ranger? Me whenever I wear color. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring both because these are all very thin, so they're lightweight to pack, and I have them in my suitcase. But I think this is what I'll end up wearing. I think it's cute. Otherwise, packing is going swimmingly. Outfit set out on the bed. I'm only bringing that brown coat that I tried on, the long one because I don't think it's gonna be cold enough to wear the giant oversized. But I am bringing a leather jacket for nighttime and also I'm gonna have hoodies and stuff, so it'll be fine. I set up my taxi ride to come between 5 and 5.15 a.m., so that's fun. My friends are getting to the airport. We're flying out of LaGuardia, um, which was cheaper for me to schedule a flight to LaGuardia, or a flight, a uh, car to LaGuardia than JFK, but I thought I was like pretty equidistant for them, but whatever. I always schedule my taxi on the Curb app the night before an early flight and set my alarms. So my alarms are set for 4.37 a.m. and 4.41 a.m. So I'm gonna pack my toiletry bag when it's like done in the morning into this side. I have extra shoes, I'm wearing tennis shoes on the plane. Um, I'm gonna put makeup in my backpack so I can do it on the plane or in the car. Pretty easy, successful packing. I feel like I've actually gotten decent at packing in the last year or so, which I've never been good at, but I'm getting better. <laughs> so we're gonna keep learning and growing, you know? Okay, I'm getting ready for bed now. I feel like I never really film on this angle because my bathroom is just not um, that cute <laughs> or conducive to filming. I always wash my hands before I wash my face. Using the Clad Skin Face Wash. This stuff is so nice, you guys. I'm using this little like exfoliating pad that I got it. Fred Meyer, I think, when I was home. 
and it just kind of buffs out any other dead skin. My skin has already been faring so much better this year going into winter than it has in the past and I'm feeling so relieved because I've been working on it a lot and trying to take care of my dry eczema skin. And then I kind of like mix up my toners. I'll use the Tower 28 SOS spray, rose water with glycerin, a classic, hyaluronic acid all over when it's still a little damp, squalene, which I need to pack. I have a mini hyaluronic already packed, but I need this one too. This one's really good for hydration. I'm using a little bit of the Glad Skin Babies and Kids um, on my face, and I'm gonna mix this with I Love Pyrodize self tanning drops because, oh, that was way too much. I'm gonna be orange <laughs> all over. Yeah, I use a lot of different moisturizers, um, as we know. So I kind of switch it up depending on like how my skin is that day. I'm gonna use the Belief True Cream because can't be too careful when I'm about to travel. And last touch, I'm using some of the e.l.f. sleeping mask. The Holy Hydration line, it's so good. You're supposed to like wash sleeping masks off in the morning, um, but mine are always fully soaked into my skin. So, I mean, I still like rinse it off, but I'm gonna brush my teeth and go to bed. It is 9.08, so I'm doing good. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I know it was kind of um, PC. <laughs> Just kind of a couple days in the middle of the week. Hope you enjoyed anyway. I'll try to remember to link this new body oil down below if you guys are interested. It seriously smells so good. I used it a little bit to gua sha also on my face. Um, and it's just so nice. I use some after the shower. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm so excited for North Carolina. I probably won't be vlogging, so I'll see you guys next week back in New York. Um, but I love a surprise and I'm just so excited to see the look on my friend's face when we knock on the door and she opens it to see us from New York. Okay. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.